Hey guys, it's Nick here, back at you with another Ford Maverick video, and I just want to talk about the accessories that just make sense when purchasing a Ford Maverick. And another thing, we are going to talk about one thing that you should replace as soon as you get your Ford Maverick or any other Ford product that's out there on the market. So, let's get to it. So starting off here, we got ourselves a hitch cover. If you have a tow package on your Ford Maverick, this is one thing I would definitely get because they're, it just kind of like sticks out, makes everything look like a sore thumb. So this right here, I think it's about 20 to 15 to 20 dollars. And the reason why I got the black American flag is because if you guys watch my channel and have seen the other videos when I did the stickers on our tailgate, we actually put black flags on our doors. Now this pin, you could also get on Amazon fairly cheap for I think about $5 is that it is adjustable and on top of that right here you have these foam pads that pretty much allows you to prevent any vibration when installing your tow hitch cover all right so moving on so the next thing i want to emphasize on is pretty much here at the tailgate like i said again if you have followed this channel you could see when i did this embossed tailgate lettering but what another thing that makes sense for just for 15 dollars is this tailgate netting here. If you have the tie down attachments up here and here from the factory, or if you're planning on installing them later, this is honestly a great accessory to those tie down points because for only $15, right? Like you see here, I got my sweater for work and then I got my water bottle right there. And then right behind here, we pretty much have our box. What comes with it, again, like I said, is the netting and the four carabiners to allow you to attach it. Just makes sense, right? So let's move on into the inside. Second to last thing I want to mention in this video is going to be our center console. Now from Ford, and if anybody has seen Ford Mavericks, or if you own Ford Maverick, you know that this is just a deep hole of nothingness, nothing to really organize your small stuff, but it's great if you're trying to put in a large canteen or something like that. However, this find that I found on Amazon and the forums does a really great way to organize your center console. So as you can see here, we have a pretty much a organizer for pretty much our stuff right over here you're allowed we can put in our coins we can put a little small items over here you can see i have like my hand sanitizer flashlight a pen and my dewalt knife now if i take this off we have a second storage bin right over here to kind of put in our like our medium items i have my extra smartwatch that's inside of here and I don't know what else I'm going to put in here, but I have storage. And obviously, down here, I don't know if you guys can see, this is like the deepest point, but I could put my safety glasses in here for work, a couple extra hand sanitizers, and stuff that I really just don't need to get to at the current moment. Now, this product on Amazon makes it great because it allows you a three-tier design, making your center console way more user-friendly than how it came from the factory. Let me talk about the one thing when you're getting a Ford product or a Ford Maverick that you need to change as soon as you buy it. And I'll tell you why from a mechanic standpoint. So this is more for the mechanical just makes sense because basically the one thing I always hate about Ford lug nuts is that they are chrome caps. So if you don't know what a chrome cap lug nut is, is pretty much underneath here is your actual lug nut. And above that, as you can see here, it's a two piece lug nut. So the top of it is a chrome cap. And I'll actually show a video here in a second that these just over time just start getting bent. They don't take the torque gun too well. So I went ahead and decided to go pick some affordable black lug nuts that would fit great with my Lariat wheel. Honestly, I am going to try these. I will be posting up some more higher end quality ones. These, however, are affordable. So we'll see how these hold out. The higher quality ones I usually use and I've used them on my Chevy truck. My old rusty Chevy that I've never had issues are the Gorilla Lug Nuts, but these for about 30 bucks, these seem like they will do the job. So let's go ahead and change them. So all you're gonna need for this is just a 21 to take these off. And for the lug nuts that we do have, we're gonna need a 22 millimeter. And the last thing you're gonna need is a torque wrench that is set to 100 and about approximately 150 foot pounds. On our torque wrench here, we have it set to 148 foot pounds. So let's go ahead and change these out and I'll show you how real quick. Now it's pretty basic. We don't really need a jack to lift up our whole entire tire. But again, some safety notes I wanted to mention. If you are uncomfortable with changing out your lug nuts, go ahead, go down to your local tire shop 
and have them change them out. Once we change out all these lug nuts, we want to make sure after 500 miles, we're going to retort these lug nuts. The method I'm going to be using here is I'm going to be taking one off at a time at a star pattern. So let's go ahead and get my handy dandy half inch ratchet with our 21 millimeter and break one off. Now, as you can see here, I got my new lug nut, which is a solid piece. It looks very similar to the Ford chrome caps. Now I put on my 22 millimeter, grab my torque wrench, and torque it back to spec. There you go. Now, we just got to do the rest for the same of them, but we're going to go in a star pattern. So there you guys have it, we got rid of those chrome cap lug nuts and replaced them with these nice black ones. I do kind of like them, they're not 100% perfect when they come right out of the box, a little bit of nicks because they're just jammed up in a little box. And uh, other than that, let me show you guys some other accessories that I don't think you should get, but they are completely optional if you do need these accessories. One accessory that is optional, and it did come with the truck when purchasing it, is this bug deflector. This one is an ABS, and it has the textured material in order to give it a certain look. But again, especially living out here in the Pacific Northwest, it really helps out a lot. One last accessory I would recommend was the last video we did, which was the Tanahoe cover. It protects everything inside the bed from the elements, but not 100% might I add. And it keeps things out of sight, so anybody can't be just grabbing whatever that is in the back of my bed. So, those are all the Ford accessories that I have so far on my Ford Maverick, and more are coming on the way. So if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit that subscribe button, that like notification, and also that bell notification when you do subscribe to check out more content of the Ford Maverick onto our channel. My name is Nick, and this is Mechanic Built, and until next time. <laughs>